Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. It will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, so let's get straight into your reading and pull your Oracle card, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. So yeah, I had a week off. I um, hurt my back. Uh, it is slowly improving, so definitely seeing some improvement. Thank you for all those well wishes uh, that everybody sent to me. Um, yeah, it just takes time, I think. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. That flew out. Two cards. We have protection. This is somebody who's holding the world in their hands, do you see? And understanding how to protect their world. Now, it's also an energy of spirit saying you're protected. And we have the truth. Something to do with the truth or seeing the truth. Can be clarity as well, Taurus, you know, that kind of energy. Okay, so message for Taurus, please, angels. What does Taurus need to hear for the week? Thank you. 15th to the 21st of February, 2021. Thank you. Oh, wow. So we've got signs. Now, this is where angel spirits guides are sending you signs, guidance. Can be intuitive messages, dreams, synchronicities happening this week, coincidences. You know, it's that kind of energy because there's an energy of you're being protected. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Taurus. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is the advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, as you know we always do. Um, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus. Angel Spirits Guide, 15th to the 21st of February, 2021. Thank you. First card's turned over. So the challenge, we have the Three of Cups. The Fool is Advice from Spirit. And your outcome, lovely, we have the Ace of Cups. Let's clarify the cards. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? Can we clarify these cards on the table for Taurus? 15th to the 21st of February, 2021, please. What do we have for our lovely Taurians, please? Let's clarify these cards on the table, thank you. Thank you. So I have the Eight of Cups. We have the Death card with the Fool. Powerful combination there, Taurus. And the Ace of Cups we have with the Tower. Nine of Pentacles is the bottom of the deck. Okay, Taurus. So there is an energy here of... You may have experienced something to do with the truth or truth coming to light, seeing the truth of a situation, getting clarity. You see that person is looking into a mirror. You can see it, it feels, you know, seeing things as they are, getting clarity or getting some kind of truth here. But there's definitely an energy of whatever this journey is, you are being protected. Um, signs, see the signs. It can also be, you know, I'm getting read the signs as well. So if there's some signs or feeling or intuitive energy, um, direction that you're feeling this week, it's an energy of read the signs this week. You know, maybe get clarity, read the signs um, in how you need to deal with something. The challenge position, I'm feeling definitely for some of you, there is an energy of closure, getting closure and moving on from something. I mean, this Eight of Cups can be a card of walking away as well. Um, 
can be walking away saying goodbye to something or someone uh, can be turning your back on disappointment as well so that could have been to do with some kind of truth or clarity it's not just about walking away from somebody it's actually moving on from some kind of disappointment so for some of you remember there's levels to the cards and it is a general reading but it's the kind of energy of, of bringing closure to a situation closing one door being ready to open another and remember the cups is to do with our emotions feelings so you know sometimes this can be to do with friendship um our community as well you know that kind of energy um, so for some of you, it, I mean, you know, it could be to do with some kind of friendship here as well. Um, you know, the Three of Cups can be a card of, of friendship, uh, communication, support. But, you know, it can also be a card of just finding closure, the Three of Cups, and allowing yourself to, to move on, you know, move forward. And the Eight of Cups person, they move forward towards the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment, getting your heart's desire, being completely fulfilled on every level in your own right. So it, there is definitely something lacking here. Some t some t it can be something, something to do with disappointment or walking away from a situation or abandoning something because it's just not worth it anymore or because it's, it's run its course. You know, it's that kind of energy. The advice from spirit, what are you walking towards? Well, yes, this ending marks a powerful new beginning. So the death card is an ending and I definitely see this. I mean, drawing the line under a disappointment or walking away from something, but you're walking towards something that is uplifting. The fool is a positive card. It's an optimistic card. It's a card that's full of anticipation taking the leap of faith, taking a chance towards a new chapter, a new direction, a new path. Um, you know, and the fool carries very little baggage and it's because there is an energy with the death of purging, cleansing, releasing that which you don't need anymore. Um, remember, it's the Phoenix Rising card, the death card, card of Scorpio. It is a card of purging, things that you don't need to take with you on this journey you know the death card is a transformational energy emerging in your own light um a renewed light a renewed sense of self shedding an old skin however so definitely an energy of releasing trappings of the old by embracing endings and therefore being ready for new beginnings. So it feels very beautiful here, Taurus, endings and beginnings. Something again, but such an optimistic new beginning is waiting for you and that's what spirit wants to tell you. And what is this new beginning? Because I also have another new beginning here with this Ace of Cups. So for some of you, you see what I said? You know, the Eight of Cups is one less than the Nine of Cups and we have the final cup here, the Ninth Cup, something that you might have been searching for. For some of you, you're walking towards new happiness, um, a new path that starts the beginning of finding joy and happiness once more. And that is the Tower energy. I mean, remember the Tower is a neutral energy. It is about destruction of the old. But, you know, we destroy the old when we find self-love. We destroy the old when we find new love. We destroy the old when we find new creative opportunities coming into our life that bring new beginnings, you know? So it's that kind of energy. Some of you are going through really deep change. But, you know, the tower is the way the universe aligns you. It's not always easy energy, Um but it can be a, a, a powerful aligning energy towards a new path, new opportunities, new love, um, new self-love, new pets, new friendships, um, new relationships, you know, that kind of energy. So it feels for some of you, it feels, it feels definitely there is some powerful between these two cards. There is some kind of like beautiful, life-changing, 
opportunity or life-changing new beginning that is bringing joy and happiness into your life once more it feels very beautiful because the nine of pentacles is earth energy um, and this is i mean you are earth energy taurus this is a card of feeling secure stable financially materially money wise but this is also a card of full awareness of self-worth and you see the butterfly on that card i really like this energy because what you've been working towards and the pentacles is hard work energy it's practical energy it's focused energy it's not the fastest energy as well something that you've been building up towards you know over a period of time there is an energy of the outcome will be great success this is material success this is also a card of independence somebody standing in their own two feet in their own self-worth feeling pretty good about it um so for some of you i mean this can be a card of a new era of self-love you know opening a new door for yourself being empowered and being ready this can also be a card of new love like i said uh coming into you and it's life-changing love you know that's with the tower now it can also be to do with um creative opportunities as well so could be to do with money career as well for that taurus but it feels very beautiful that you're being guided you're being absolutely guided this week there is def definitely an energy of you are protected this week the amount of divine energy in this reading is beautiful but something about powerful endings but are heralding and paving the way for powerful new beginnings so big major arcana energy in the advice from spirit i'm going to pull a final card yeah we have pure intention the fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all and it's interesting because the eight plus the one is the nine of cups you know that is the wish fulfillment card so for some of you it feels like there is big change coming your way but it feels like for the better it feels like a powerful change for the better uh, something where you will stand in your own success self-worth self-esteem feeling empowered pretty good about it taurus um and being ready for what this ace of cups is bringing into you so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you